let's derive the volume of a sphere you know that from geometry 4 over 3 pi r cube let's derive it using calculus start here with the unit circle x square plus y square equals r square a certain radius and it's centered around the origin solve for y because we need a function you push everything on the other side and the square you'll have a square root of r square minus x square when you graph this you're looking here at a semicircle r comma zero minus r zero comma r we're looking at this shaded region if i were to take that shaded region which you see right here and rotate it on the x-axis this shaded region will develop a three-dimensional solid and that solid will be a sphere and it looks something like this a relative representation if i were to take just a slice from this and pluck out the slice and make it parallel to our face we're looking at a circle all the slices you can make will always be a circle with a certain radius what is that radius you're looking at your line of axis which would be this right here but you're looking at the line of axis going through the board the radius is always a distance from your line of axis or rotation up to your function which is this this right here is your radius the area of the circular slice is pi radius square and it's going to be square root of r square minus x square square it's easy you're looking at a pi r square minus x square you're looking at all the slices of circles you could integrate from one end to the other end cumulative sum of those areas will give you your volume your volume is going to be that pi pushed out lower limit minus r upper limit r and then you're integrating this r square minus x square dx you can bring in the even function properties of integrals because this is symmetric around the y-axis you can say instead of a minus r to r you'll say zero to r and put a two you're doubling it you're in essence only looking at this part right here and then you're doing it times two to capture the other side on the y-axis integrate this it's easy r square x minus x cube over three upper limit r lower limit zero a two pi sitting outside you're putting r's in places of x i'll have an r cube minus an r cube over three that's like a whole minus a third and you know that's going to be a two pi times a two r cube over three when you simplify this whole you have four pi over three r cube and that right there will be your volume volume here is going to be four over three pi r cube derived using integral calculus